guys, it's me, AJ Alexandra. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and tuning into this video. So recently I went to Michael's and if you've been lately and stopped by the planner section, you've seen they have those really cute tote bags that hold your planners. Well, I checked the price and I think they were like $30 and they were on sale for a sm like a small fraction that they took off with the sale item, but it wasn't enough and I couldn't use a larger coupon because you know you can't use coupons on already marked on items. But anyway, so I'm not going to lie though. I picked it up. I kept it in my basket, but like the cheapness in me just kept saying, no girl, like you're not about to pay 20 something dollars for this tote bag. And then I thought like if my husband was here, he would say I didn't need any more bags. So I put it back. But then I went to Dollar Tree and I found these other really cute tote bags. I'll show you them. They're these right here. Okay, so here's the supplies. Here's the bags right here. Dollar Tree. I have one in pink. And then I have one like in an aqua color right here. These were both from Dollar Tree. One dollar. I have my puffs, my little pom-poms. You know I've been loving these lately. If you've watched my last video, you will see how I made those. And I actually used them for a chandelier. I even have another one that I purchased from Michaels. It was $1.99 on clearance. I wanted to give this a try, the Ultimate Multi-Surface Adhesive. So I'll give this a try. I've never used it before. And then these patches, they are the iron-on patches. But I think they have stickers on the back, so we don't even have to iron them on. And this came from Family Dollar for $1.50. I have some little nail art fruits. Hopefully you can see. They have like little kiwis and dragon fruit, watermelon, lemons, oranges. These are from the dollar store. Not the dollar store, but the dollar tree. And then I have some charms that I've picked up here and there at Michael's. I found these on sale one day, so I just have a bunch of those. And then I have my glue gun just in case because you just never know. These bows, I've showed you these in another haul. They were $1.50. Um... There's even some little shaker stickers I might use. These were from Target. And they're like in cupcakes, popsicles, donuts. And then I was thinking I might as well have like a pouch, like a pencil pouch for my bag. Since, you know, it's only strictly for my planner. So I can put like all the supplies I want to take for the day inside of here. And yeah, I can put like my ink in there, my stamps, pencils, paper, I mean, whatever. Whatever I want to put in there, I'll have it. So, I think first I will start with the pink one. So let's go. So I'm just going to take off these tags. And you don't want to pull it out because it probably will tear. Because like, you know, this came from the Dollar Tree. So it's not in the best, it's not the best quality. Alright. And I really just want to put a lot of pom-poms on here. So I think I'll just fill up this area with pom-poms. And then I'm using my glue gun for that. But for my charms, I think I'm going to try that um, Ultimate Multi-Surface Adhesive. So I think I definitely want to do like, I don't want all the same colors to be together. So I'll start with these five and make a little pattern. Just gonna put a little dot of glue on the back of them, like this. And I'll just start in the corner, pressing them down. Just loving using pom poms lately. And like if you buy the um yarn on sale, like my yarn was like a dollar nineteen. Alrighty, so there's my first row. It's already coming out cute. I think that's enough pom poms for now. I want to start with my little layout with my a dollar fifty patches. So these are not actually iron on. They're just they have a really good sticker on the back of it. But I'm still gonna put a little glue. We can either hang them on here. Yeah, I think let's do that. So, I have this Stretch Magic. 
think these were $2.99 from Michaels. These are used for like charms and stuff and it's the clear. All right, so you can just really put it through. Let me get it, once I get it. Yeah, you can just put it through and then you can just kind of hang it off of it. So I'm gonna cut that. There's that, so cute. I'll just glue this on there. There's that. I don't think we need this little tag, so I will just cut the tag off. I'll put that to the side because you know I'm gonna keep it and use it for something else. That's what we all say, right? And then we end up with little knickknacks that never see light again. <laughs> but I like this little star. Just put that off to the side like that. And like I said, it does already have um, glue on the back of it. So I just put the hot glue just to give it a little extra. So I have a donut here and you guys, it just wouldn't be me. It wouldn't be complete <laughs> without a donut. So I'm adding a donut back to my jewelry cord. I want this one to be a little longer. So I'm just doing it like down here. That's it for this one. I don't want to pack it up too much, but I think it's really cute. I like that one a lot. And you know what I was thinking? It doesn't have to just stop at being a bag for your planner. It could be like a lunch sack because look, it's pretty deep inside. So you could just open it and you can put your lunch in there. You can put your Bible in there when you're going to Bible study or whatever you're doing. Um, you know, it's it's really cute. And let's just be honest, like how many times do you find like a cute lunch sack and that's not expensive? So here we are with like literally from the dollar store, the Dollar Tree, handmade pom-poms and just a little bit of embellishment, you know, and it's cute. And you can customize it to fit you and your style. Here's my aqua colored one. Let's take off this stuff again. I'm cutting it because if I snatch it off, it probably will tear it. I like the same idea of going around the bottom. So I'll start doing that again. Hey guys, so here's this one. I just glued all my pom-poms on. But you know what? I think for this one, I just want to keep it plain. Even though it's not like super plain, it's just I don't want to put all this stuff all over it. I kind of like it like that. I don't know. It kind of just is fine just like that for spring. But then I remembered a few hauls back, I picked up this hat. So I'm like, that hat is cute. I like that and I can kind of like use it as like a little set. But anyway, that's from Dollar Tree. And then look, remember I picked this up when I did the chandelier. So I had one left over and they were $1.99 at Michael's because they were on sale. I think it was $1.99. But I want to put this on my hat. So it's like, now we have like a combo video. We don't just have DIY tote bags. Now we have a DIY hat. Right, so what I'll do is take off like all the metal attachments on here and then just glue it on that part like that so let's take all that off okay so here's my little hat i just literally cut off the tag and put glue and then just bent it a little bit and attached it look how cute it is you guys you know what i was thinking of while i was making it this is a really cute set for like your bridal party you know how like when you're getting married, like you can do bridal expos and stuff. And they hand you so much stuff while you're at those expos or just different events. And then you literally can give one to all of your bridesmaids, maid of honor, matron of honor, everybody. And they can put all their pamphlets in here. They can have like their portfolio in there. And then you can even give them these little hats. And you can put like, you can either do something like this or put like maid of honor on it. Like whatever you want to do. And I just think this is a cute little set, especially if you're on a budget and you want to give them gifts throughout the journey of wedding planning. So, yeah, there's that. But, yeah, that guys, that's it. Here's the other one. Really cute. Now, let's give it a test and see if it will hold a planner. I got my planner here. It might not fit mine because mine is pretty large, but let's find out. Let's 
wow perfect snug as a little bug <laughs> it fit my planner so cute i love this guys now we had a pencil case too right keeping with the little set look let's just put i think it's already cute enough on its own so i'm just literally going to put this cute little bow right here on my little pencil case my pencil pouch so just like before how i put my little bow with glue i'll do the same thing now well that's everything guys we have our little hat that was kind of like a bonus feature for the video <laughs> and then we have our first our uh, aqua colored tote bag and then we have this little pretty pink one and then we even have a little pencil pouch that's everything i hope you've enjoyed the video i'll be coming back soon with the haul just to show you guys some more goodies but thank you for watching everybody i'll see you next time